this is Eric from ET Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Ghost Tokan Busto Damashi form. Um, this is the form given by his father. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite. I like all the metallic red they're using over there. It looks really beautiful. Um, here's the left of the box. Here is the right of the box, and here is the back of the box. And let's bust this thing open and see. Right, what so we here got. we have the figure still in the inner packaging, and wow, he comes with a lot of accessories this time. Like they have a sword, four pairs of hands, and it have the praying hands. I wanted that for this guy but apparently we have to buy the Musashi version to get this hand um, for Kamarada Ghost but yeah it's pretty cool this guy is packed with stuff and that's not wasting any more time and check out the figure itself All right, so here we have the figure itself and again this one is fairly standard um, Bandai usually does very well with these Kamen Rider figures and this one is no exception he's using exactly the same skull as Kamen Rider Ghost and Kamen Rider Spectre um, so there's nothing much for me to talk about over here in terms of the sculpt he just looks really really good with this metallic like red and again this one is like a super saiyan 2 if you really want to talk about it um if you don't know anything about it this is just um the next form from the uh, original form uh, i have the original form like right here um this is his second form well maybe i should say this is the super saiyan 1 because he does have other like two or three forms but anyways um let's jump straight into the articulation and see all right so for the articulation it's gonna be very standard because he's using the same mold as comrade ghost inspector and i'm pretty sure all the comrade ghost figures are gonna use the exact same mold um so we're not gonna spend too much time talking about it like at this point it's just whatever he can look up and down no problem he can turn his head no problem and the only difference with this guy is his shoulder is kind of hindering um this thing is actually tougher than i thought um it's actually completely um solid so you can't really move his arm like 360. um that's kind of a bummer though they couldn't make this a soft interior make the articulation a lot better but this guy feels a little bit bulky well all the comrade ghost figures feels a little bit bulky just due to the jacket design and they can't do the app crunch um too well compared to some of the other lines but i think it's okay because i really do like them the jacket look it looks very very good at least um they do capture the look 100 percent like they always do so anyways that's cool and he does have the older pull down hip um they probably just decided the pull down hip is better um for comrade ghost because with a jacket and everything right or maybe they've done this mold like a long time ago and they just decided that um this one is a little bit better but yeah anyways so he can do the rider kick fairly easy so that's good um, if you like them doing rider kick but i personally don't do rider kick too much though because i don't like using the stand um i'm probably just gonna make him hold the weapon and look good and yeah i think that's it for the articulation let's jump straight into the accessories he came with a lot all right so first of all we have some like spell casting hands just like the naruto like when they're doing ninjutsu so that's pretty cool I like All it. Alright, so next up we have um, energy charging hands or praying hands and these are really really cool looking. And I'm really glad that they included this one this time because they didn't include it for the Comrade of Ghost. They want you to get a Musashi version um, so you can have that hand. So, I don't know. I might just get a Musashi for this pose because this is really really iconic and looks really really Alright, so next up we have these display open hands and these are really standard nowadays. Almost every SH Figure Arts or Figma will have this kind of hands and it looks very very good. I really like that. Alright, so next up he came with a pair of hands for him to hold a weapon in the gun mode and it's kind of like trigger holding hands and this is the, the gun. Well, obviously the weapon. I forgot the name of the weapon but um, it does have articulation over here. You can um, open the sunglasses and put the icons in and I'm not sure sure if these um, fit in exactly and let's try that out wow these fits in perfectly and that is really really good attention and detail and for those of you who are not familiar with the series might think this weapon looks really weird and believe me i also think it looks weird despite how much i like the series but i think we never spend too much time just looking at a weapon like this um because in a show he would just load up the gun and then he would just close it and then he would start firing so you don't really spend that much time looking at this but now that i'm looking at it it looks a little bit scary but yeah um just give you a little backstory they use these to transform to common rider obviously and they can also use these like to load up the gun i always wonder like what if they're missing one of them like can he still fire like some attack or something what if it works like a battery you need to but anyways um let's check out what it looks like on common rider all right Girls. so here we have the gun assemble and of course this looks really really good i really like it yeah it looks awesome all right so next up we have a pair of hands for him to hold a weapon in sword mode and let me just kind of remove this and change it into a sword mode like so wait let me line that up yeah so this is very very sturdy it looks really really nice too and yeah um one thing i want to complain is that um 
the hand doesn't really hold a sword all too well. Um, it is sufficient, but it. It's kind of like the hand is kind of too big for him to hold the sword. Um, I guess because they're using the same exact mold as the previous weapon, which has like a bigger um, handle. So that is kind of a bummer, but you know, it's it's good enough. I, I say it's good enough, just um, a little bit disappointing. And this is what he looks like with the sword, obviously, and it looks really, really awesome. I really like that. Ooh. All right, so finally he came with um, the hoodie or like the hood uh, for you to put on his head. So um, to assemble this, you just have to remove this part right here. And then you got to remove that um, little part on his head. I already popped that off and you just have to um, place it over here. But you got to be careful not to lose that. And this looks very, very good. I really, really like this. Yeah, I think any figure with a hood is really, really nice. Um, the only other figure I, I have the hood is um, Black Ross Shooter from Black Rock Shooter. So yeah, that looks really good. I like characters with hood. They should make more characters with hood. But anyways, let's jump straight into the size comparison and see All what right, we got. So next up, we have some Kamen Rider from Drive Series, from Blade, and from Kamen Rider Kiva. And next up, we have some SH Figures Dragon Ball figures, which is everyone's favorite. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So next up, we have Kamen Rider Boost Form next to some Avengers figures. And I want to quickly talk about um, Captain America over here. Um, I only recently learned that you have to um, pull the neck out a little bit when you're swapping the head. Because you can actually do this, um, which I did a while back. And it looks really, really bad. It just looks like he has really short neck. And all you have to do is just like pull this up a little bit. I'm not sure if um, all of you know this, but I just noticed this um the other day when i was reading some article so yeah that is really really all cool right, so next up we have some star wars figures and again jedis are really really cool all right so next up we have some more sh fig arts and that looks pretty good as well all right so next up we have some of my favorite figma figures and they look really good and i think that's it and let's jump straight into the final thoughts all right so for the final thoughts this is definitely a really good figure and for those of you who are common writer ghost fan i'm pretty sure you guys already had this um for those of you who are not familiar with common writers I actually think this one is a pretty good one to get. If you just want to have like something cool and something like shiny to play with, um, this is a really good choice, especially that he just dropped in price. Um, last time I checked on Amiyami, he was around like $30. So I think it's really worth it if you just want something like fun to play with. Um, I think that's it from me. And do let me know in the comments what you guys think about Kamen Rider Ghost in general. Um, this is Eric. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.